Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. I am Vidhila Jagannath of Class 9C. Today, a group of our classmates have created a wonderful role play on a short story named Kabuliwala. The author is none other than the famous Rabindranath Tagore. He was a poet, writer, playwright, composer, philosopher, social reformer, and even a painter. He was born on 7th May 1861 at Kolkata. In 1892, India's first Nobel laureate, Rabindranath Tagore, wrote the iconic short story named Kabuliwala. It was a tale of a man from a distant land, Afghanistan, living in Kolkata, now the capital of West Bengal state. There are many characters in the story. I'd like to thank my school, the Hindu Senior Secondary School, our Principal Madam, our Vice Principal Madam, our HOE community, and Mrs. S. Sri Vidya Ma'am, who has helped us with the script and also coordinated the students. Last but not the least, I thank my fellow classmates who have put their effort on this role play. Now, I would like each of the performer to introduce themselves and the character. Kabuliwala. Good morning to all. I'm N. Naren Karthik and I'm playing the role of Kabuliwala. Good Vinny. morning everyone. I'm Vesanu and I'm playing the role of Vinny. Vinny is there. Good morning everyone. I'm S. Vishnu Karthik and I'm playing the role of Vinny is there. Vinny is mom. Good morning, everyone. This is Ruteji, and I'm playing the role of Vinny's mom. Police. Good morning, everyone. I am M. Shankaraitya, and I'm playing the role of Police. Debtor. Good morning, everyone. This is Sahana, and I'm playing the role of a debtor. Mother in law. Good morning, everyone. I am Shruti Lee, and I'm playing the role of mother in law. And scientist. Good morning, everyone. I'm Echa Nirut, and I'm playing the role of a scientist. Scene one. Let's start the role play. I have a great family. It comprises my lovely wife and a naughty yet beautiful daughter. I am a proficient writer. I usually sit down by the table next to the window and let my imaginations wander. I am a housewife, but I am also educated. I love old traditions, but I do not engage child marriage. You guys may think about why she is talking about child marriage in modern world. But this story takes us to a time period when child marriage was still taking place. Okay, so now let's hear what Vinny says. I am very evil. I love to play in the garden and I also love my mother and my father. Not only that, Vinny also asks so curious questions that none of us will be able to answer. By the time we get to know the answer of one question, the next question arises which will lead us bewildered. So, such a pristine family were leading their lives. One fine holiday, Vinny's dad, as usual, was writing a novel sitting near the window and Vinny was playing in the garden. Finally, this book is over. Suddenly, Vinny shrieked and ran to a room inside the house. Oh no, I'm so frightened. The Kabuliwala is going to break, break back and I think he's a kidnapper and the children he kidnapped in there was back. Vinny's dad, astonished by Vinny's shaking, went to the door where he saw Kabuliwala. Kabuliwala, come here, please. I now, who is the Kabuliwala? These are the people who migrated from Kabul of Afghanistan to trade nuts in exchange of Indian silks, sugar, etc. Now, as we know the meaning, let's continue our story. Kabuliwala, come here, please. I've got exotic nuts, sir. May you know what you want? Do you have cashew nuts? Of course, yes, sir. Okay, how much does half a kg cost? This rupees 300 only, sir. No, no, it is too expensive. Let us make it to rupees 250. But, sir, then I cannot have a gain. Okay, how about 280? Mm, okay, sir, fine. Vinny felt terrified because Kabuliwala started opening his bag. But soon after that, she got relieved because now she knows that bag was filled with nuts and not children. Yes, sir. Do you want anything else? No. Now, Vinny came out of the room and the first meeting takes place with exchange of smiles. Scene 3. After this, the Kabuliwala came to Vinny's house so frequently and played with Vinny. They exchanged jokes and laughed heartily. 
Kapoli Vela also gave Vini a lot of nuts during these gatherings. This was all noticed by Vini's dad. Kapoli Vela is giving a lot of nuts to Vini. Let me give him some money so that he doesn't face a loss. So Vini's dad gave Kapoli Vela money, but Kapoli Vela got it in this hand and returned it to Vini in the other side. Let's now see one such gathering. Oh, Vini, come, 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 come. Come and sit here. You like pista, right? Here, eat some yummy pista. Kabuli wala, what's in your bag? Elephant! And they laugh until they stomach it. Miss, you should never go to the in-laws. As mentioned earlier, this was the time period when child marriage was taking place. So Kabuli wala asked such a question. Although Vini did not know the meaning of what Kabuli wala had just said, she asks in return. Will you go to your in-laws? I will thrash my in-laws. Scene 4. One day, Vini's parents were talking about the situation. What happened? Why are you so bemused? Wait, wait. Well, I'm thinking about my daughter. Why? What happened to her? Nothing had happened, but I'm afraid it will take place soon. What are you talking about? That Kabali Wala is spending a lot of time with the child. I'm agitated that he will kidnap Vini. But why does such thoughts come to you? As a mother, it is my duty to take care of my children. Okay, okay. I will speak to Kabali Wala. Scene 5. Assuring his wife, Vini's dad saw Kabali Wala and they went for a stroll over the street. Hello, sir. Mm, hello, so where do you come from? Kabul, sir. Do you have a family there? Of course, sir. Yes. I also have a lovely daughter. She would be the same age as Vinny. Oh. That's why every day I come and play with Vinny, sir. Does she seem as your daughter? Yes, sir. I love my daughter a lot. So when will you go to Kabul again to meet your family? Mm, I'm about to go there in January, but I've given loan to a lot of people around here. And as soon as they give back my money, I will be able to return to my homeland and visit my family. Sir. As Vinny's dad got to know about the situation of Kabuliwala, he let him to meet his daughter. Scene 6. It was one fine morning. Vinny's dad was in his office. Suddenly, they heard some chattered voice. What is that sound? He went to the door and was astonished in the view before him. Kamuliwala, what happened to you? This man murdered a young lady. What? It can't be real. It is. Can't you see she's covered with blood? But not only that, the knife which had killed the lady has also got his fingerprints. He then started explaining the story, which would be shown to us in a dramatic way. Hello. I am a brilliant scientist and I am also a genius. I have created some buttons which will take us to the past. So these are the buttons. So I am going to press a few buttons to see the fight between the Kabuliwala and the Depta. Hello, I have given loan to you. Please return me money. No. Why should I give it? I have collected my money from everyone else and now it is only you who is left to pay. If you give back any money, I will be able to go back to my homeland and look after my business. And not only that, but even your deadline is over. So now is the perfect time for you to give back my money along with the interest. No, I will never give my money. Man, please give my money back. No, I will not give it. Please give it back. Here is a knife. I'll attack you. Abuliwala defended him, but it resulted in killing the woman. That's why we say, never ever play with sharp things. Now, Abuliwala, you are going to spend your 15 years in prison. Scene 7, 15 years later. Oh, that is Vinny's house. Wait, it's... 
Oh. I think she's getting... Hey, you. I never invited you. Sir, don't you remember me? I'm Kabuliwala. 15 years ago, you used to get nuts from me. Do you remember? You get out of my house. Hey, why are you? And what is happening here? Why are you creating a new sensor? Look there. He's a killer. He's a murderer. You've come here to shatter the happiness. He's jealous that we are happy and has come here to ruin this day. Get out. Get out. This is no place for you. Get out. Get out. Let me take him outside. Quick. Quick. Or else he'll get angry and kill us all. Get out. Quick. Quick. Sir, sir, I only want to see Winnie for one time, sir. So please, sir, sir. So do you remember? I do have a child. And when I see Winnie, it is a feeling that cannot be expressed in words. So please, sir. So one last time. Please, sir. I want to see her. Please. Abhiwala then trusted a piece of paper in Winnie's dad's hand. Okay. Winnie climbed on the staircase. She was so perfect for a bride on the day of marriage. She had grown up so much that it was hardly able to recognize her. Yes. So you're finally going to your in-laws. Hmm. Benny did not reply him back because she had forgotten her beautiful memory between herself and Kabuliwala. Kabuliwala could feel it. He left the place. But soon, Benny's dad recognized the picture that was thrust into his hands. It was an art of a child. He remembered the pure love and affection of Kabuliwala towards his child Bini. He ran towards Kabuliwala and apologized. Kabuliwala, please stop. Sir? Take this money and go to your home. Sir, sir no need, sir. It's okay, sir. No thanks, please. Kabuliwala, please. It's my humble request. Take this. Sir, no need, sir. I can fend for myself, sir. No need, sir. I'm so sorry for not trusting you. I'm sure you will never hurt someone in your life again. It was just a defensive act. Vinny has grown into a big girl and so will be your daughter. Now, take this money and go to your home to meet your daughter. Be happy. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Oh my God, now I can see my daughter. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No need to thank you. Vinny's dad understood the value of a father and was responsible enough to be one. He not only understood that, but also helped another father just like him to meet his own child. The relation of a father and a daughter has been portrayed here. There are two such father-daughter relations mentioned in this story. Vinny and a father and Kabuliwala and his daughter. Child abuse and child marriage were common till the time of Rabindranath Tagore. Tagore took important measures to express his opposition through his works. But now, in the 21st century, most social hills have been changed. Our culture and heritage has always focused on the well-being of our children for generations. This is the base for our cultural heritage. This is our India. Our Indian poets, Authors and leaders have been inspiration and historical mirrors of life and education of the woman for next generation. To what extent women today fly in sky is like wildfire. Men are also equal in the development of women. The big reason for this is discipline. Discipline is public. Discipline is equal for all. Let us live in morality. Thank you. Hindu Senior Secondary School. Thank you. Well played, student. Thank you. Thank you.